Hello, I'm Asha and I'm five and I'm five years old. And what's your science question? Why do clouds have water? Hi, my name is Mike Foster. I work at the Cooperative Institute for Meteorological Satellite Studies here at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. So uh, one thing I should say is not only do clouds have water, clouds are made up almost entirely of water. Uh, and that water comes from the surface. So it comes from the ocean, lakes and streams, and even ground. Uh, so one of the questions we can ask ourselves is how does that water get from the ground all the way up into the sky? Uh, warm air rises while cold air sinks. Uh, which means that the warm air full of the water vapor at the surface rises up into the atmosphere. Uh, another important thing to know is that uh, as we get higher up into the atmosphere, it gets colder and colder. Uh, this is why even in a warm area, if you look and you see mountains, often mountain peaks will still have snow on them. The atmosphere uh, can be thought of as a bucket that can hold water vapor. And the size of this bucket is in part dependent on its temperature. We put all these things together and we have uh, warm air at the surface full of water vapor. That air rises because it's warm. As it goes higher and higher, it gets colder and colder. And as it gets colder and colder, that bucket holding that water vapor shrinks and shrinks until eventually, way high up in the atmosphere, that water vapor can no longer be held in that bucket. When that happens, we have a process called condensation. Uh, if you've ever walked outside in the morning and noticed that the grass is wet, this is a very good example of condensation. Uh, the night before it got cold and the water vapor in the air condensed onto those grass blades. Uh, unfortunately, there's no grass way up high in the atmosphere, so the water can't condense onto that. Instead, there are tiny particles of dust and sand and salt and what happens is the water vapor condenses onto these tiny particles and makes water droplets. And you have millions and millions of these tiny little water droplets that all form up in the sky. And when you look at them from far away from the surface, they look like a big, uh, white, fluffy mass, which we call clouds. Um, and the reason these clouds stay up high is these tiny droplets are so small that they aren't affected uh, enough by gravity to actually fall down to the ground. 